Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and Forest Career Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Trent. And I'm Caleb. And here's what we have for you on this week's SOMD Wire. Charles County native Randy Runyon Jr. appeared as a guest guitarist on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert earlier this month. Besides playing walk-in and intro music for the April 4th television show, Runyon performed Them Changes by Buddy Miles and Kato's In My Beach. Runyon said that the exchange with Colbert was just kind of a surreal experience. 27 years ago, three brothers Jim Dykus and Jeff and Jamie Thomas started an awareness run for hospice philosophy. Ever since it has become a lovely tradition and it will continue this Saturday, April 23rd at 8.30 a.m. The run will be held at St. Mary's County Governmental Center in Leonardtown. This will be the first run since the pandemic back in 2020. Make sure to run on by. On the evening of April 28, 2002, a tornado was made and would later bear down on the town of La Plata. The storm caused over $100 million in damages and would be the worst tornado they had since 1926, where it killed 17 people, 13 of them being school children. We were reassured that we weren't in this situation alone, Sheriff Troy Berry said. After the storm, the Sheriff's Office developed an all-call system to organize and coordinate mass responses to emergency situations. Next week, on Thursday the 28th, at 6.30 p.m., La Plata will be holding a memorial at their town hall to mark the 20th anniversary of this event. A six-story apartment building could be coming to California and St. Mary's County. The six-story, 180,000 square foot building would have 221 apartments with a three and a half story townhouse building right next to it. In addition, there would be a 5,977 square foot restaurant on the ground floor of the apartment building, according to a staff report. Now turning to sports, former St. Mary's Riken High School graduate Katie Preble is having a phenomenal season for the South Carolina Gamecocks. In 44 games this season, she's batting a 255 with 12 home runs, 9 doubles, and 37 runs batted in. Katie is also slugging at a respectable 599. This is what Katie had to say on her standout season so far. It's definitely been a lot of fun and great to see that all the hard work these last few years has really been paying off. This is Katie's last eligible year for college softball. Best of luck to her and the Gamecocks for the remainder of the season. Norland High School girls lacrosse team has a staggering victory over Leonardtown High with a 20-6 victory over the Raiders. Northern scored early and often against the Raiders despite the hardly spring-like conditions present on the field. Sophomore Maddie Matthews scored eight times and senior Mackenzie Black scored another five to give the Patriots a 13-3 advantage at the intermission. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Trent. And I'm Caleb. Signing off.